All righty, let's kick it into gear. Hey, my friends. Hello, I need to stop. I need to stop saying that. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Grab a cup. We are going to be doing a book haul. I am so, so very excited. Jared and I just recently got back from traveling and visiting family and I did some book shopping with several of my family members and it was so enjoyable. I went to Barnes and Noble with my dad and we went to the cafe and sat and talked and then walked around the bookstore and talked about books because my dad also likes books and that was just such a core memory of mine. And then my sister-in-law and I spent an evening together perusing the aisles of half price books and just winding around the store. And that was another, ugh, another core memory of mine. Her and I, we just have just some of the most special memories I have with my sister-in-law is us shopping together and just talking and chatting while we do it. And it's just, it is just, so, it, has, it holds such a special place in my heart. So she also loves books and the fact that I have people in my life that I can talk to and who love books like I do, just like my friends here on YouTube, that just is so special to me because I feel so passionately about books. I just love them. I also got to see my best friend when we went into town and that was awesome because I got to give her a book club book, our book club pick for the month of March, which was my pick. And then she also gave me a book, which I will show you too. So it was just, it was so lovely. And I'm excited to share all of the new and used finds because I did also, we went to Half Price Books, which has some used books and some new books. And then I also perused the local thrift store and found a couple of good finds in the book section there too. So anyways, let's just dive right on in. I am so excited for this video. I'm going to be just kind of explaining why I'm excited and why I picked the book up. I'll have them listed down below if you want to read more about the synopsis or anything. But because I do my reading list videos too, I'm not going to dive into what the book is about. It's just going to be a nice, quick, fun little chatty haul just talking about some books. I have them right here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get started this giant stack. The first one I got was Outlander. This is by Deanna Gabalon. Um, I have never read nor watched Outlander. This is one of the ones from Half Price Books and I love the cute little chunky one. I just think it's so cute. It's over a thousand pages. Like the words are so small. It's gonna be intense, but my sister and I, my sister-in-law and I both got them and I I love reading books with people even if we don't read them at the same time I love both getting the books and then knowing at some point we can talk about them or be reading them at this at like overlapping or yeah I just I like that so this is one of them I actually don't even have them in the stacks of when at the, each door that I got them so I will tell you as I go but I'm excited. I feel like this I can add to the Lord of the Rings that I just got from my friend Katie. And I feel like now I can be like, okay, I have like some like really like big classics like Outlander, Lord of the Rings, like check, check. This I got at Barnes and Noble. This is Richard Osmond's The Last Devil to Die. It's actually a signed copy. And this is the newest edition, the fourth book in his Thursday Murder Club series. I have the rest of them. Oh, right. No, I can't, can't point with that finger. Right there. That's them. <laughs> and I'm excited. I, I just love this series. It's so cozy. It's such a cozy mystery set in the UK. And I like that. I love the characters. I'm excited to get back into um, just the storyline. And someone, Caroline Kepnes from New York. She's New York Times bestselling author for you and only you. She says, if we're lucky, Richard Osman will keep these characters alive forever. I love that because that is how I feel about, about these characters too. So I'm excited. I think I'm gonna say I'm excited about every book. So maybe I'm just gonna tell you I'll be excited about every book and then we'll just, we'll just move right along because I don't need to keep saying that. This is another one that I got from Barnes & Noble, Sarah J. Mass's The Assassin's Blade. I didn't realize that it was, I didn't think it was gonna be this long, not that this is like super long, but I didn't realize it was gonna be this long and this is the prequel. But how I am reading, well it's a prequel and there's several novellas inside, but how I am reading them is I'm reading this one third. So that's what I'm doing, but anyways, yes. 
there's not really a huge explanation needed for those. I mean, you know, they are so popular. The next book, this is how, ooh, <laughs> Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. Something about this cover just feels so, I know the little Swifty in me is like, it's like reputation because it's black and there's like a silver snake on the front, but this is her adult debut. So this one, must have this this has to be I, I would take it adult debut her first okay it was copywritten in 2019 this i'm taking it is her first book after like the shadow and bone trilogy and then the six of crows duology um because it says it's her adult debut so her other books are young adult and this is her first adult debut i know she's had one recently that came out called hellbent but something about that book it's got like a very something about the cover upsets me <laughs> makes me sad it's got this bunny like laying down on it and just kind of freaks me out um so I don't know if I'm gonna read that one but it's a fantasy novel it says that it's got power privilege dark magic and murder among the Ivy League elite like that just sounds like cozy but like creepy but like it just sounds good so I'm excited to read this one and I don't know something about the cover Something about the cover, like the bold, the bold words. I just, I just like it. This I ordered off of Amazon. This is Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. This is the March book club pick for my besties book club. I'm really excited. It sounds like it's kind of like a romancy sci-fi-y. The very end is what drew me in. It's a love story, but not one you have read before. It sounds really interesting. It's actually quite a beefy book. I'm not sure what I was expecting. I mean, it is a hardcover, but 365, nope, 300, no, okay, 400, just 400 pages. Sounds really interesting. I'm excited to read it as a part of my besties book club. And I was gonna say I'm excited again, but I am not going to say that now. This is another one that I got from Half Price Books. This is my grandmother asked me to tell you she's sorry. It's by Frederick Backman, who is the author who wrote A Man Called Ove, which is why my sister-in-law, my, my sister-in-law and I both got this book because she, I'm pretty sure she, she had read the book. Yes, she had told me she had read the book and we read the back of it and it just sounds like another, just like A Man Called Ove, one of those books that just makes you feel something, makes you look and think at life differently. That is how A Man Called Ove made me feel. And I feel like this is probably going to be one of those as well. Just, if this is anything like how A Man Called Ove made me feel, I will be crying because that book certainly made me cry. And this is a book I got from Barnes and Noble, How to Say Babylon by Sophia Sinclair. I, I really hope I say I say that right because that is a really pretty name. Um, but this is a book for my book club. I'm going to be reading this next after I finish Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. I'm so excited to read this book. It just sounds so powerful and I just, it's just, uh, just the fact that it's like poetic like that is so beautiful just really I'm just so excited I don't even know really what to expect but the synopsis sounds so good and yeah I'm 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 really excited I think this is gonna be a really really great one a book I found at Goodwill was educated which funnily enough something on here something on this book talks about the book educated which or no, maybe, you know what it was? I think I read about it when I was doing my March like projected reads video. I think it was on Goodreads. I would thought that it was implying that this author wrote the book Educated, which that is not true. Um, but it talked about that book. And I've actually, I know several years ago, Jessica Braun talked about this book and how it was such a good book. And someone I actually posted a picture with books and this was in it on my Instagram and somebody commented and was like, oh my gosh, that is such a good book. It is a memoir. It is by Tara Westover. And yeah, I saw it. I got it at Goodwill, three bucks. It's in great condition. I just need to try and remove like the sticky residue that was left behind from another, um, another sticker. But absolutely fantastic condition. And yeah, it was such a gem because I'm like, oh my gosh. I've heard about that book several times. Add to cart. Okay, all of these books 
I have balancing on my chair, <laughs> like a squishy chair, a stuffed chair balancing on this. That was about to fall over. The next book, this is another one I got from Goodwill. This is Tom Hanks and the making of another motion, uh, the making of another major motion picture masterpiece. That has to be intentional. I'm sure that it has to be intentional, but I am excited. I'm excited to read this book. Oh, what does this mean? There is a interesting, there's like a little library type card in here. Interesting. I wonder what that means. I'll have to look that up. It says it's from somewhere in New York. Very interesting. I'm gonna have to give that a quick Google. I don't know what that is, but I saw this book. It was another one of those books that I have seen before and it was definitely from Target because the previous owner put a little Target sticker in there. So I'm assuming this was on the cover. I've seen this before. Oh, look, there's interesting. Um, and I just was like a book by Tom Hanks. That sounds interesting. I had read the back of it and the praise for it as well as the inside cover. And I'm like, hmm, that sounds interesting. That sounds different. That sounds like something I would enjoy could possibly. So gave it a try. I'm excited to read it. I also have never read anything by Agatha Christie before. And I can't believe I've heard her name before, but it says she is the most widely published author of all time outsold only by the Bible and Shakespeare. What? Her books have sold more than a billion copies in English and another billion in a hundred foreign languages. Huh? That's crazy. This is Crooked House. The official authorized edition, Agatha Christie. I don't know what that means. Um, but I have never read any of her books before. And I saw this and was like, oh, let's add it to the library. Love it. Only just like a buck or two at um, Goodwill. So ugh. used bookstores, used bo used books. I love used books. So I'm excited to read that. And also there is an Agatha Christie cafe i think so that would be perfect to go to and sit and start that book in that cafe perfect two beefy books left <gasps> oh my goodness i got this from half price books with my sister-in-law this is the priory of the orange tree it's by samantha shannon we both got this book as well I have seen this book actually in that same bookstore over the summer with her and my friend Katie. We, we've, I've seen this book several times. It is like the, I like, I can't, can't even wrap my head around how big this is, but something about massive books just, Speaks to my heart. Oh, did I damage it? Oh no, just a little bit. I squished the corner. <laughs> oh well, oh well. Bummer, Peyton. Why, why, why are you clumsy? It's okay. Books are made to be read. Books are not gonna look perfect all the time. It's okay, it's okay. But I'm really excited to read this book. It is a crazy fantasy and I love, I just love how big it is. And a second book has come out equally as big, if not bigger. And uh, I'm just really excited. I'm just so excited. Like I said, I'm gonna say it a lot. Another beefy book. This and my best friend Sochi gave me. This is Sarah J Mass, House of Flame and Shadow, the third Crescent City novel. Again, needs little to no explanation. I'm so excited to get into it and read it. It's another beefy book. Um, easily what a thousand pages Oh, maybe not. Nope. Okay. Just barely, just barely 900 pages, but I am, or maybe not even quite. I don't even know. I, I was trying not to look at anything on the page. 835. Trying not to look at anything on the page because I don't want to spoil it for myself, but I am excited. I'm not going to read this until I finish the Throne of Glass series, I think. Um, I think that's the plan, but who knows? That might take me a little bit because I don't own them. So maybe, maybe I will just pick this up and read it. But, oh, and then lastly, lastly, this is something I'm excited about. This is different. This is Taylor Swift's Red Taylor's version, um, the Hal Leonard piano, vocal, and guitar book. So I grew up playing the clarinet for a long time. I played it throughout school, and I was I I really enjoyed playing the clarinet. 
and my dad is very musical as well and so I play a little bit of the acoustic guitar and I have a keyboard as well that um, I got as a Christmas gift one year as a kid and I, I, I would consider myself a fairly musical person and I was actually at the good little the guitar I was at the guitar store with my dad when I was visiting and I had seen these and there's like you know most all of her albums Taylor's version I saw there and I was like you know what I don't play my guitar I don't play my keyboard anyways um I saw it and was like you know what I really I want to try my hand at playing some of these it's sitting down in front of the keyboard playing some of them and getting back a little bit into reading music. And so this is something that I'm really excited to add to my collection and bring upstairs. I have quite a few um, music books, piano books. I've got obviously lots of clarinet sheet music and stuff like that. But uh, just this, just being able to play something that I know, I don't know why it had never really occurred to me, but it's something that always fell to the back burner and it is something that I do not want to push to the back burner. I want to bring forward again and have some music back in my life. So those are all of the books that I have gotten recently. Thank you to some of my family members who got me some of these books. That was just so special. I'm so thankful to have had the ability to spend some time with some of my family members and my friends. It just was so special to me and to share that part of my life with others in my life who love books just as much as I do is so special to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this book haul. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed here already. We've got some more book content as always coming up and some other beauty and just fun things on my channel. Just, just random things that I like. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.